welcome back so today i want to show you how to work with the spirit of abundance or queen of abundance whatever you like to call her i'm going to show you how to set up her pull-out candles if you don't have pull-out candles you can work with the regular seven or nine day candles i'll show you what type of herbs i'll tell you show you what kind of roots um, i'll show you the oil and i'll show you how to make yourself a spirit of abundance jar to work with her petition her and to ask her to grant favors so a few quick things that you'll keep keep in mind the spirit of abundance is known for moving really really quickly and you want to call forth upon her with the best intentions she's going to come through to help you with the things that she feels that you need help with majority of the time is financial needs financial blessings so i want to explain to you a few things that i also have on my shop and i also have a, a huge giveaway where i'll be giving away a lot of these items to um one of you one of my subscribers and so you can work on this stuff too at home well, the only thing you have to do is follow me on tiktok um follow me on instagram as well as follow me here on youtube and i'm gonna pick one maybe two people i may i may pick two people so head over to my shop i'll leave it in the um the link below in the description head over to my shop to the magic forum and just leave a comment i'm gonna pick one or two people um maybe at the end of the month so you can start working on your stuff. And an altar like this, I'll show you the setup. An altar like this, you wanna definitely leave it like ongoing. You wanna keep it there for a long time. I have a lot of her favorite herbs and roots and everything that she likes, as well as oil that you can also purchase at my website if you need it. So a few things you'll keep in mind. You wanna, you wanna leave her flowers and you wanna leave her fresh roots each week. All right, and make sure you're never working her for greed. Make sure you share your wealth and your abundance with many others. It is said that if she offers you something or grants a petition or, you know, pours blessings among you and somebody comes and asks you for certain things or asks you for some money and you're greedy and you don't share, it's that she'll never work with you again. So I want you guys to, you know, fully consider what you're going to be doing. Say right now you get $1,000, you have a family member that needs $40. And you say no to them after she's granted you that thousand dollars she'll never work with you again and she would also make sure that that thousand dollars isn't spent wisely in your hands so i want you guys to make sure working with her that you know it doesn't come from a greedy place at all she wants you to be kind and generous just as she is with you um as mentioned prior she's she's going to be good for helping you to track and draw in all the things that you need she loves gold. She loves shiny curios. That's why I have pyrite here. I have fool's gold here. I have gold coins. I have a $100 bill that I'm going to offer her, but I'm most likely going to use a $2 bill for the petition for the abundance jar. She loves yellow, gold, and green. Um, Pull-out candles are really good to gain her attention because they're going to fill the bottom with the things that she likes. Now, as I mentioned, if you don't have a pull-out candle, use the regular candles and you can still set up your fool's gold your pyrite and your gold coins and herbs around it um she loves abundance oil attraction herbs money oils wealth oils prosperity oils hoyts cologne she can also be um offered alfalfa five finger grass and a lot of the stuff that i mentioned is at my shop i have a huge lotus stone there for her that's about three pounds um she loves sugar jars honey jars and i also have mini abundance honey jars on my shop everything is going to be in the link so you guys don't worry about what i'm talking about everything will be in the description box and i want you to consider everything that you like she's trying to give to you so things that she like if you can make sure you can give her every single thing that she likes as well um she loves having her oils and just make sure that you kind of like give her, her offerings kind of up front that's like the basic thing to do. I know some of you won't be able to give it the offerings, and if you can't, I mean, your your setup doesn't have to look like mine, but you want to make sure that you can give her as much as of everything that she's asking for. Those are gold, um, those are gold smell candles as well that I'm gonna use after I make her abundance jar, and this is the oil that I made for her. This is also at the website as well. So whatever you can get for her, make sure you gather everything. And I'm going to also give her fresh rose petals every day. That's a place that I that I know where I can go. There's a place where I can go. And um, the lady just sells the petals. Um, she has different colors, red, white, yellow. So I'm going to get 
some yellow and white i'll leave them on her also for her every week and you know like some this is new year's incense that i like for her there's a lot of uh, fool's gold down there there's a lot of pyrite and i'm just gonna put everything together so if you have everything that you need you just follow along with the video i'll explain to you let's talk about the candles first these are pull-out candles right so with the pull-out candles you write basically your petition on them you can put a dollar two dollar bill i'm in the united states so for those of you that are not in the united states just use your money um five dollar bill whatever it is that you feel like you want to offer her that you can afford to offer her um the hundred dollar bill would be like an offering just to stay on the altar and remember whatever money you give her whatever items whatever gold whatever you give her is hers you, you can't take it back so if you need that hundred dollars twenty dollar fifty dollar back you can't take it back that is hers so whatever you are offering her when you are done setting up everything everything stays with her and for any leftover wax it stays with you whenever you're working on a situation where you want things to be drawn into you the wax the herbs the roots everything when you're done for that week or for this that session it could be a nine-day session you're doing 14 days these candles are gonna stay lit probably pull outs last a little longer so you'll probably see like a good depending on how many days you can actually leave them so if you're lighting them every single day you will probably get 14 days right and depending on how many hours if you're doing like 10 minutes a day of course it's gonna be longer 30 days it could be if you're doing 10 minutes a day but if you're doing about when you come home from work like when I get out of work I'm, I, I just let them stay on till I'm ready to go to sleep or sometimes I'll leave them on throughout the middle of the night and I'll put the bowls in water and I'll put the bowls in water and I'll leave them sometimes maybe like one two o'clock depends on what time but if I'm gonna be up late they'll stay on late and I'll let them burn seven eight hours they'll burn for a few hours then I'll put them out snuff them out I don't blow candles out you shouldn't blow candles out you don't want to blow away your intentions um, and this is an altar too that you really don't want to have out in the open around everybody you're gonna be praying for abundance for prosperity for surplus for longevity you're going to be praying to attract things. You're going to have to make sure you feed your lotus stone as well. Make sure you feed it um, lotus stone sand. Make sure you have Hoyt's water to, Hoyt's cologne to clean the candles off. I cleanse my candles off already, cleanse the area. Use the Hoyt's cologne, use the money drawing oil. Everything that she likes, clean the stuff with, prepare the stuff with, and feed the lotus stone daily. I'm going to put the $100 bill under the lotus stone, and you can do that. And I showed you guys how to do that in previous videos where... You'll be using the money as a petition, and the Lotus Stone is going to help you to draw in everything financially, basically, $100 bills. You put $2 bills, $1 bills, whatever it is, it's going to help you draw in more money. You can use brown paper. You can use the hell bank notes, but for a ritual this heavy and this big, you want to use real money. You don't want to attract play money. So when you use the, the, the hell bank notes or play money, from like the discount store you're gonna attract money that you're gonna be able to play back with N nothing much a few a few dollars here or there but if you want to attract something big if you want to draw on something big say right now you you need her help with a house a car something finance use the petition of either paperwork of that car dealership um that um brokerage the the name of the association of the town home or cash Whatever it is that you want to attract back, if you're going to be using her to help you to bring forth abundance of it, then I would recommend you doing that. And I'm going to use a $100 bill. I have a few $2 bills. I have a few 20s I'm going to use. And every week, I'll just put money and build her altar along with those fresh rose petals, fresh incense every single day. So building the energy is what you're going to be basically doing when you're working. For those of you that have negative things happening, bad luck, you haven't cleansed, in two years, you, 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 you haven't been able to maintain and sustain certain things because of the pandemic. This is not the ritual for you. This is for somebody that's, you know, working on themselves, has been building progress, has power, has energy. And I know a lot of y'all don't like to hear this, but a lot of y'all do not have magic. Y'all don't have the connections with the energy and the spirits. And y'all don't know how to communicate with them. So this is not 
something that I would recommend a beginner jumping into because you don't fully know if you have magic or not. And I know there's a lot of videos with y'all watching people that are fake practitioners telling y'all, oh, do this, work with that saint, work with that loa, work with that orisha, work with that spirit, work with that DT. You, you can't just work with any single body and you don't have no connection. You don't have that clairvoyance. You don't have that, you know, magic. A lot of y'all don't like to hear it, but y'all don't, y'all do not have the magic. Y'all don't possess the powers. And if you don't, this working something like this with negativity, uh, you know, just being in the wrong mind state and, and no energy, it's not going to do nothing for you. So make sure if you're working it, you've been working on yourself, you've been building up yourself, you're working, you can afford to continue to, you know, give her offerings. It don't have to be huge offerings, small offerings. She knows what you can give her. She'll never, ever ask you for things that you don't want. And remember, the spirit of abundance was created through folklore. And a lot of folklore tales people create as they pray to them more and build more energy and talk about them more. Just like the, the spirit of money, the spirit of good luck. You know, a lot of these different types of energies and spirits, of course, they're, they're not in the Bible. Of course not. They're not biblical. You you won't hear about them through certain stories. You hear them through stories from other people that have worked with them through their experience. And a lot of spirits have been created like that through folklore. And if you believe in it and you believe in the essence of abundance and the things that it can bring forth for you, then I would recommend you working with it. But if you don't really have a lot of belief and you just want to get some quick money and you just like, oh, I'll work, I'm going to work with that spirit and... You don't really have a connection and you don't want to build the energy and go through working candles and building up certain things to better yourself. Even taking baths. Like I recommend you taking sweet baths. If you're not, if you're not willing to do those type of stuff, then this is not the ritual for you. I have like, maybe now I have like close to 300 videos and I have a lot of stuff. So look through and search and find something on here that's suitable for you that I have posted. You may need to start cleansing. You may need to remove certain blockages. You may need to build your energy more. So whatever it is that you need to do more of, I recommend you doing that more of before you decide to go jump in and work with the, the spirit of abundance. Because she doesn't bless everybody. Like it takes time to really get yourself to where you need to be spiritually. And then you'll see the progress. You will, you know when you're strong. You know when you're powerful. And you know when the spirit, the saint, the deities... The laws, the orishas that you work with, you know when they're moving things for you. You feel it. You know it. So a lot of you that don't know and you don't understand and you, maybe you need to take a break from magic. If you don't know yet, if you're powerful enough, if you don't know your own energy, if you don't know your own strength and you feel like every spell that you work is guaranteed to work, is supposed to work and you don't know nothing about results when it comes down to building magic and power and strength and even working simple things like petitions, then you may not be where you need to be at. You, you, you know. You know exactly when things are moving. And she is a spirit that moves quick. When you do what you need to do. So make sure you keep yourself sweetened. Okay? Make sure you're doing your baths. Make sure you're lighting the candles, praying, your incense. Everything that connects to her should connect right back to you. Everything that you like. If you like working with crystals and stones and certain curios, put that on her altar. It connects right back to you. If there's certain power roots that make you feel good when you do your rituals, take them off of your altar. You lend them to her. You lend them to her to build up more power and energy. And of course, when you're done, they go back where they belong. The gold mojo bag is to place all the things inside. And of course, when you're done working with her or weekly when you work with her, you want to make sure the candle wax goes inside. So some of you may need to get a, a, a bit more herbs. I have mandrake in here. I have comfrey root. And I have alfalfa. I have cinnamon. And then I'm going to work with a few other um, components. Like pumpkin spice has everything that you're going to need inside of it. If you're familiar with pumpkin spice. If you're a real kitchen witch, you know it has cinnamon, ginger, um, allspice, and nutmeg inside of it. And I'm also going to use cinnamon sugar. I'm going to use pieces of dried orange skin. And I'm going to use brown sugar. And I'm going to use that. I'm going to also add some pieces of master root inside of her abundance jar. And then I'm going to use the oil. Bless and dress the candles. 
I'm gonna um, put some herbs on it and then I'm gonna put the candle the gold handles right here that I have the um, the selenite over and I'm gonna make sure that um, I put them right in the middle of the jar so as the candles burn down the wax will melt around that wax every time it breaks down I put it in the gold jar in the gold mojo bag and I'm gonna keep that mojo bag with me you're not supposed to throw away mojo bags especially if they're for blessings abundance um, protection cleansing stuff like that you're not supposed to throw them away like mojo bags unless you've allowed the mojo bag to die and it no longer has energy and power then I will tell you get rid of it bury the whole thing you know start over fresh different things like that so I've explained every single thing and I mentioned every herb and root and curio and powder and everything here that you see and the links will all be in um, the description box so um, you guys shouldn't really have much questions on how to do it if you've done rituals before if you know how to do spells it should be easy the things that I do are gonna be different from yours of course the way I set up the things that I have all different from yours and like I mentioned before, for the pull-out candles, a lot of everything here, the roots, the herbs, the curios, as well as the gold coins, one is going to go in each one. So I'm going to put one gold coin in the bowl and one in, at the bottom in the center of each candle. I do not like the words that I've written on um, the Queen of Abundance. Like whoever translated the words or wrote it, maybe English wasn't their first, second, third, or fifth language. But it's just like too much they're rambling on with. So I'm going to probably get another clear candle and pull out, as you guys know, if you've known me for a while. I really, really do not like candles where people write stuff on them um, because sometimes they don't know what they're talking about. So, um, and I have pictures of the Queen of Abundance that I'm going to put in the candles later on. So I'm most likely going to have two clear pullouts. And if you make your own pullouts, just keep making the refills. And all you have to do, same jar. The petition is in there. As this candle burns down, at the end of it, you do not throw the the glass away. You just keep refilling it with the with the gold candles, gold or yellow, over and over and over and over and over. Keep refilling, refilling, dress it, bless it, pray over it, and add in your refills. Pullouts should not be thrown away, in case many of you don't know that. So as they burn down, you know, clean off the outside of it, pray over them, add in a new refill. So I'm going to set up every single thing. And then I'll show you what my setup looked like when it's done. Okay? Alright, so I completed everything that I told you guys I would do. I made the abundance jar as well as I dressed the pull-out candles. And I also added everything at the bottom in the base for the pull-out. And then what I'll do is I'll put both of them in, but I'm going to work one of them, you know, at a time. And um, I'll probably be able to get a good 21-day session for them each. And as I mentioned, as the wax burns down in your abundance bowl, you want to use that wax and you want to put it inside the gold mojo bag, which is right behind there. Um, a lot of stone will be fed every single day for 21 days. I'm going to keep some pyrites there. I have some incense, some New Year's incense that I'll be burning on a regular basis. And every time a candle goes down... I'm just going to dress it, pray over it, light it. I'm using money, um, money drawn oil, and I'm also going to be using the abundance oil that I made special for her. Everything is going to be in the description box, as mentioned. So comment below, give it a like, and let me know how your, um, your ritual is coming along. And you guys can send me pictures as well. Like, subscribe, and stay blessed.